In this lesson, we are going to look at another method of analysis which is based on your Thevenin's theorem. Okay, so your Thevenin's theorem is basically dependent on finding out a equivalent circuit or equivalent network for a given network. Okay, let's just say you have a network which is like this. Okay. I am taking any arbitrary network. Okay, so this could be composed of many voltage sources, many resistances, okay, many current sources. Okay, I do not care. I am taking any arbitrary network. Okay, so let's just say this arbitrary network is represented by this box. Okay, let me just draw it a bit nicely. So this is any arbitrary network now this arbitrary network let's just say it has two terminals a and b okay now this arbitrary networks can be transformed into a equivalent network which has a voltage source okay and a resistance in series okay so these two are equivalent and this voltage source is represented as VTH okay and this resistance is represented as RTH okay let's just say you connect a voltmeter over here okay so when you connect a voltmeter over here you are going to get a reading which represents the open circuit voltage across AB okay what's gonna be the open circuit voltage across AB if you look at this particular equivalent circuit the open circuit voltage across AB is simply VTH okay if you consider this as your ground then this is 0 and this is VTH just realize this is a open circuit therefore no current flows through this circuit therefore there is no drop across this resistor okay so your VTH is the open circuit voltage okay it is the open circuit voltage across this network okay and let's just say now you connect a ammeter over here okay now when you connect an ammeter over here you are going to get a reading which represents what this reading represents the short circuit current flowing through AB okay now just see over here if you short circuit this particular terminal then what is the current that is flowing through AB the current which is flowing through AB is simply ISC is simply VTH upon RTH right so your short circuit current is equal to VTH upon RTH in other words you can also say that your RTH is basically equal to VTH upon ISC okay so whenever you are given a circuit you can represent it with the equivalent circuit having a voltage source VTH which is the open circuit voltage across these two terminals and a resistance in series which is equal to the open circuit voltage upon short circuit current which is flowing through AB okay so if let's say you want to find out what is the current which flows through a load resistor which is connected across AB okay then you can simply find it out using this equivalent circuit okay if you are going to connect a load resistance across AB over here then the current which flows through this load resistance is simply what current through load resistance as you can see over here your RTH and RL are in series okay so the current that flows through a load resistance is equal to VTH upon RTH 